Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you a brand new home screen lock screen combination that's going to make your Android phone look a whole lot better. So, without any further ado, let us begin with today's new video. Great, so let's see what this lock screen home screen is all about. Starting off with this lock screen, it's titled Grey, White, Red by the artist, by the very popular artist Sebastian Spindler, aka Kurt Denker. And he does a fantastic job with creating stunning home screen lock screen combinations, and this one is no different. So, starting off with the lock screen, you can see it's got the time and data at the top that's very easy to read when you unlock your phone, comes in very handy, as well as these notifications over here that change according to depending on what notification that you have. And they pop up instantly it's great it uses missed it comes in real handy as well also don't forget that at the bottom here we've got a little unlock slider here very subtle very clean it adds to the whole elegant sophisticated approach that sebastian's gone for this lock screen and he does so very well so sliding down like that brings up you brings up straight into this home screen also got the same effect and it looks incredible you've got here the time and date in the text format which i always think looks great as well as some location and weather information here at the bottom also looks really well and finally it's all finished off with these little icons here that you can change according to what you desire but there you can bring up your app drawer quick and easy depending on what you desire so if you'd like to know how to set up this very clean minimal modern home screen lock screen setup then let us begin with today's new tutorial Great, so before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you require because you need to know what you need in order to create this very home screen and lock screen. So I'm just gonna be opening up the app drawer. Very easy, there's just five apps that you'll be needing. First up will be a third party launcher such as Nova Launcher, the one that I'm using currently right now, simply because a lot more people use it. You're welcome to use Thema, but it's entirely up to you. Next up will be a good old file explorer. I always use EX File Explorer simply because it's free and extremely easy to use. Next up will be Misted. If you noticed on the lock screen it had those notifications, that is Misted. Next up will be Widget Locker and even though it is a paid app, it's required for the lock screen and it is probably one of the best lock screen replacements out on the market today. And then finally we have Zoop Widget Pro and you do need the Pro version simply to copy and paste those custom templates. So once you have all of these apps installed onto your phone, you want to look in the description below for the files that you'll be needing as if you download those either onto your computer then extract them copy them onto your phone or just download them straight onto your phone you just want to make sure that you have them on your phone I just created a folder here to make my life a whole lot easier and if I open it up these are all the resources that you'll be needing we will be needing to cut and paste a few of these into different folders but it's extremely easy so let's start off with say the missed it one now this one is slightly different than what you might be used to but it is the notify numbers first one the zip file right here now what you want to do is to extract it straight into this very folder just like that and then it comes up with this nice little pretty folder as you can see it's got the two little configuration files there so you want to select it right now you can either copy or cut it it's entirely up to you but you want to go into the main SD card directory you want to jump into the missed it folder and into the presets folder and then paste it as you can see I've just done right there if this folder doesn't appear if there's no missed it folder it's probably because you haven't opened up missed it yet it does have to do a little configuration first so yeah if it doesn't show up try and even add in a missed it widget and that folder should now appear we're gonna go back into our customization folder as next up we want to get our widget locker theme now this one, all you have to do is that it'll be in the zip format. Now you wanna leave that in your zip format. Don't extract it at all, as then it's gonna get all funky dunky. You do not want that. So we're gonna now, wait, you wanna select it. You wanna copy or cut it, entirely up to you. But we're gonna go back into our SD card directory. We're gonna go to jump into the data folder now. We're gonna look for that com.teslacoilssw.wid uh, widget locker. Basically it's a widget locker folder. You wanna jump into the themes folder right now and then paste it as I have done right here. Remember, don't extract it, leave it in that zip format. Extremely easy, almost done. We're gonna go back into our customization folder and we wanna now look for the three zoop widgets, the ones with the question marks or the ones that end in .zzw. So we wanna select all three. You also wanna select copy or cut. Go back into your SD card directory and jump into the Zupa widget folder. Next up, you wanna jump into the templates folder and then paste them as I have done so here. Very easy, that's all our background setup done. Great, so once you have all these apps down, you've got your resources all in the correct folders, we're gonna be jumping into the lock screen setup. So let's get to it. 
Great, so as you can see here is our lock screen. If you have anything in that's currently on it, you just want to drag it, hold down and drag it into the bin. We're not going to be needing it right now, so get rid of it like that. Or just select remove, whichever is easier. Once everything is gone, you want to select the little icon here at the top right hand side. Brings up your settings menu. As we're first going to be jumping into our look and feel. You definitely want to have alternative wallpaper enabled. And then you want to select your select wallpaper option. As this gives you the option to look for your wallpaper. Hopefully you've copied those two wallpapers into that respective folder. And now you can just choose where they are. So here it is. Right here, the slightly darker one was used, well, I think it was used for the lock screen. Doesn't really matter about sizing as long as it looks good to you. So I think that looks good to me. I'm gonna select OK. For your tinting, does not really matter. I think Sebastian went for a little bit of a, well, hardly any tint at all. So I just left it like that, probably on a five, 10%. Looks pretty good. For your layout, this is quite important. If you have it sitting in the middle, the anchor there, you want to drag it all the way to the bottom, as well as deselect automatically determine grid size. A 10 by 10 always seems to work out well, um, simply because it's big and there are no icons involved. So you definitely want to hit that save button. Your label shortcuts, you want to, well, that doesn't actually really matter, but your hide notification bar, that is very important. So make sure that is enabled. You don't need that one at the top there. We've got our own kick-ass notifications below the time. So that's pretty much it. You just simply want to go into your advanced settings now as widget overlap is very important to have enabled as we might be overlapping one or two widgets later on. I'm going to go into our home helper now as you always want to have these enabled. Your home helper component, your home helper block home as well as block home in other apps. That simply prevents widget blocker from tripping out. So that's pretty much it. If a lot of people always ask, hey, I want to have widget locker as well as a pin code or something a little bit more security. What I did find out is that I had a stock lock screen that had the, the pin swipe thing on it. Um, but that basically was a two step process. So I'd have the lock screen or the widget locker unlock it and then it jump into my pin code. So you are welcome to have that. Um, but I find it a bit inconvenient. So if it is inconvenient for you, you want to just say um, you want to select disabled stock lock screen and then that will only let you have the widget locker lock screen so it's up to you whatever makes you feel happy but that's all we need for our widget locker setup i'm gonna go back so once it looks all good like this we're gonna start off with our widgets at the top specifically with zuper widget so we're gonna long press on the lock screen select widgets right now scroll to the bottom and select zuper widget pro doesn't matter what size you go for as you're just gonna be long pressing on it anyway selecting resize and then getting it I think that looks pretty good, a little bit higher. Tap away, tap it on the widget. You wanna select the SD card, remember, because now we have pasted it into our templates folder. You wanna select the one that looks like the time and the date like that. You can go back now, see what it looks like. I think that looks pretty good, maybe. I think it's a little higher. Just wanna go back, Home, long press on it, select resize. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Next, we wanna add in the missed notification below. So long press again, select widgets this time. Go all the way to missed it. There it is. And then this is pretty complicated now. What we want to do is to select the little um, settings menu here. Next up, we want to select the notify numbers first. Okay. Gives you, gives you a warning to select okay. And I think Sebastian might have forgotten this, but if we go into our output format, you can see that show all is enabled. So even if there is no notifications, it'll still be displayed not too good because then it can get a little bit cluttered so i want to disable that so keep that in mind that show all you want to be disabled and i think that looks pretty good but now just keep in mind this is going to be now invisible if you don't have any notifications so i'm just going to select the tick luckily i do have some notifications there and a long press on it select resize and you just want to get it to be a little bit above or below the date like that so i kept a little bit below like that um, what's pretty cool is that if you select it like that, it can show you, you can jump into whichever notification that you would want straight from the lock screen. You don't have to unlock your phone. Pretty neat. So next up, we need our custom lock screen as custom slider. So if you long press at the bottom, select custom slider. Hopefully you've copied it into the correct place. As if we scroll down now, you can now see the dash um, unlocker right here. We just want to disable show clock. Don't even know why that clock is there. We want to select done. Very easy, just long press on it again, select resize, get it a bit lower, I think that looks pretty good. You can always test it out by swiping down, like so, there it is, and it now unlocks your phone. So, pretty neat. 
So once you have your lock screen looking fine and dandy, we're gonna move on to customizing our home screen setup. Great, so we're almost done guys. We just wanna simply long press on our home screen. Now we just need to customize some Nova Launcher settings. So if we select the wrench at the top right there, jump into our desktop menu there, our desktop option, and then straight into our desktop grid. And nine by seven always works pretty well. Gonna select okay. Margins, you wanna be on none. Home screen, single home screen can deselect or forget about everything else here. We just wanna have the widget overlap and widget overlap when placing, always a good thing to have enabled. As well as label icons, you wanna have that disabled. You do not want to have labeled icons. Always ruins a good looking setup. Finally, you wanna go into our look and feel. If we scroll the way to the bottom here, um, show notification bar, you can also have that disabled as it also clashes with the home screen slightly. So we're just gonna go back now. Next up, we want to change the wallpaper. So if we long press on the home screen, select wallpapers, we're going to go back into your preferred gallery app and find where it is. So here it is. Uh, I think it was the lighter one this time around. And if we select the crop icon here, select portrait, it does make your resizing slightly easier and get a lot more usage there. So a little bit in the middle, like so, I think. You select OK. It's going to save your wallpaper and how great does that look? So we're gonna add in our widget at the top there. Long press on the home, sc home screen again, select widgets. Select Super Widget Pro, never look at what size it is because we're just gonna long press on it and then resize it so that it takes up a lot of the top there. Now if we tap it again, we're gonna go into our SD card. We're gonna look for the one that's got the clock date like so. We're gonna tap back, see what that looks like fits in perfectly. Remember, you can always just resize it, resize it afterwards if it does not look too good. I'm gonna just move this app drawer into the bottom corner there, leave it there for now, as we just wanna add in our last widget there at the bottom. Same Zoop widget, doesn't really matter what size you go for, as we, as always, we're just gonna resize it, and I think that looks pretty good. Remember, you can always, you'll always be resizing it afterwards, so sorry if I go slightly fast. And this thing I actually noticed as well, not sure if it was another bug, but the, the location as well as the weather was jumped up very high. So if I select my layout right now, and then select my rich text, which is that text there, I wanna move it slightly down. So I wanna get that, so it's just a little bit above the red line like so. So I think that looks much better. You're always also welcome to move the rectangle if it's in all the line at the bottom, if it's not in line. But I think that looks pretty good. Just gonna go back and that looks a whole lot better. We just need to add the icons at the bottom. So all you have to do is, I'm just gonna do one and then you can just do it for the rest of them. So for example, I wanna add in my Instagram. So there it is right there and there it's been added. I'm just gonna long press on it, select edit. Select the icon right now, and it's not going to be in the gallery, right? Well, it's not going to be in any of these icon packs. It's going to be straight into my gallery. Next up, I'm going to look for the folder. So there it is. Now, remember, this is, doesn't have as many icons as the rest of the Compacticons. So I recommend um, downloading all of the Compacticon icons because there's simply so many and they are so great looking. There it is. I'm going to select my Instagram logo right there. Select OK. Select the tap button and there it is. Um, if it's a little bit too big or small, you're always welcome to change the grid size, but that seemed to work out pretty good for me. And once you've added in all your desired applications there at the bottom and everything looks good, you wanna lock down your Zoopa widget. So what do I mean by that? So when you tap that, as you can see, it opens up your Zoopa widget configuration. We don't really want that. So what you wanna do now is select widget on tap action. If you'd like it to open up something like say your weather app or your time or whatever, then you can change it in your app list. But currently I just wanted to make it look all pretty. So I want it to be disabled or locked. So when I tap this, nothing will happen. But you have to make sure that you never want to make any other changes as it is quite a mission for you to edit that. So as you can see, now nothing works. You want to apply this to both this one at the top as well as the uh, widget locker lock screen widget here at the top. So make sure that you wanna make that widget onto action. You want it to be on disabled as well. And that's pretty much it guys. You have a, let's just unlock it, get it all looking great. You wanna lock your phone. Let's just see what it looks like and then unlock your phone. There it is, you got your notifications, you got your time, you got a crazy cool looking unlock slider there as well as a brilliant looking home screen. Great guys, so I hope you've enjoyed that video. Hopefully now your Android looks a whole lot better with a great looking home screen as well as lock screen. If you have any comments or queries let me know in the comment section below and i'll respond as soon as i can 
well, better make sure that it's fast. Um, if you really enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up as well. So please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel. It'll truly mean a lot to us. Other than that, it's Marco here from the My Color Screen channel. And as always, don't stop customizing.